I think it'd be a good idea to also explain where we're gonna put all this stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And make a motion on let's collect a bunch of stuff and then that and then you know I don't know where to put that stuff. I can't even friendly amendment now because I wasn't prepared for a motion like that. But we we need to one if you want a safety association in your in your area, that's where you would you guys would decide as a group where to store all that stuff that we're collecting here. Yeah. Um, but we haven't even done that yet, so we're throwing motions out here. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go. My discussion would be, your question would be, is, is her motion, uh, what is the purpose? Is it, is it? Just to collect stuff. With, just to start. Just, just with to, get started. Started. to get started. To get started. And remember yeah. what Jeff says, when we show up, you better not show up with just the clothes on your back. We're to all get our 72-hour kits and all of that. Remember what he said about finding someday on our calendar? Cool. This is a side comment. I know, but I'm just saying that you got to have plans. Hey, you know what? I, you know, where are we going to put this stuff? Uh, you want to hold on to it? Well, sure. I mean, in the interim or something? We can put a box. Sure. Right? If anyone wants to bring containers or a duffel bag or anything, that would be great too. Whatever, we can just get started. Okay, I guess it's point of order. She has a motion on the floor. We've had discussion. It's a good idea, I guess. Is there any more discussion on that point? And then do we want to uh, vote to start bringing stuff? Bill? Is there going to be some kind of record keeping on who brought what or is it necessary? If I bring some toothpaste, yes. I don't care who, who I, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Is it an open tube? <laughs> <laughs> I actually had bought some licorice tasting stuff. I didn't know the word meant licorice and I hate it. I'm bringing it. Bring it. <laughs> yes, sir. What she implies here is that there's some kind of bureaucracy required to manage all of that. So well, that was part of what his presentation was, to create a bureaucracy, if you want to call it, but I think it's small people in community. I can tell you that I've done some of what he's talking about, but mostly with my family, meeting someplace, doing this or that, you know. So people would be wise. Could you reach out to your friends uh, in your area? Like, I, I agree, a, a plan in this crazy time is prudent, but I don't think it would be prudent for me to collaborate with somebody in Mesa. So it should be smaller groups in your area that could get somewhere, that, you know, do these things. You're, you're right, it's well intended. How you do that? This, this organization here is talking about sort of the macro picture, how this all goes together and how it fits to sublimate a system that we all admit is broken and needs to be replaced. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, we have this we have this discussions, and this man's had a passion for it for a long time, survival, and he taught classes on how to do that. So here we are, uh, you, you know, a small community from different parts of the valley. Everything he said would be prudent. But like I said, for me, it'd be people near Glendale, you know, and just and, and so forth. But does it need the county organization with this many people? Probably not. If we grow to 10,000 people, it maybe makes sense, but you're right. There, there are systems that have been there and so forth. And, and again, part of, part of this discussion, does it have anything to do with what uh, we hope is going on in the Republic and, and, and growing the Republic for, for something that we all we pray for is that this country turns around. And then if that happens, we start turning those things around so there's, you know, Homeland Security, for instance, or FEMA or whatever. Some of the idea is not bad. It's the same thing on a huge scale. It's just corrupt as hell. This discussion is on motion. It's specific to the motion. Okay. My response is specific to the motion to say that the discussions we have generally is about building this penumbra under which this all happens, governmentally. But you're asking about a, a symbolic... It's not government. governmental at all. Oh, oh, no, no, well, let me finish what you're saying. No, no. I suggest to you that, although it's well intended, I would not advocate for just simply having symbolic activity at night, which does not address that large penumbra that's the basis for the discussion of the meeting. I see your point. 
it's, 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 it's sort of putting the cart before the horse. If you, as he advocates, create a bureaucracy, a structure for collection and distribution of all that and maintenance of it until you distribute it, then the next step becomes germane. This is a preliminary, this is a premature step. It's symbolic, I appreciate it. Everybody can bring all this open tissue paper and whatever they want to and that's fine. Just then what do you do with it? You still have the problem to do. I, I think we put it in Brad's car. <laughs> <laughs> you make a good point. It might be premature to get the plan and have smaller groups that I talk about. Well, just if you could add to that, um, and it's Jeremy, and so far as what I'm thinking is, well, I've got some land, you know, a uh, half hour, 45 minutes out of town, and that could be, you know, staging. If we look at how the pieces go, um, you know, if we do end up having a situation where society starts to break down, I'd sure like to ban with each of you a whole lot better than I would with people who have no idea of what's going on and no idea how to create something. So from that standpoint, I just pitching it out there, my head's thinking, okay, well I've got land and if it needs to be in a staging thing and or we're in process to somewhere out in the mountains, well there's kind of a launching point. So I just put that in the mix for the discussion, not for anything else. Carla, you want to say something? Yeah, um, I kind of thought about what you said, and that's why I thought of some, something small to kind of get us going while he's working on the places and maybe appointing different people or different areas. That way we can all be working on it and not just us sitting here doing nothing and leaving it all to him. That's kind of what I was not thinking. Not against your idea, huh? What I'm trying to say is, once you have a structure in place, then you have those little committees have those little groups. And those are the people to do that because then you have an infrastructure to be able to collect, keep, and distribute it. But at this stage, you don't have any of that. It's just sort of a box sitting on a table for somebody to do something with it. Okay, okay. point taken. Karen up. So the basic plans that have been offered tonight. Um, as a volunteer recorder, I have built quite a few spreadsheets. Now they may not be up date, may not be up to date for the last month or two, um, because I did step down as the recorder once we got a uh, elected individual for that spot. However, the spreadsheets are still in existence. They are broken down by county already. I don't have them broken down by city, but that could be done. I can make that available to you all as a tool. Okay. I guess we have a um, call for a vote. Call for a yeah, call for a vote. Okay, call for a vote, or we have a, a motion, a second, and a call for a vote to bring stuff all in favor aye aye, aye. all opposed nay. nay okay the nays have it so it sounds like the, the recommendation is do something else and so with that maybe some folks to, so that we can move on with the meeting if you have an interest i'm going to suggest off the off the record kind of get with robert and and volunteer to get with them to, to start the structure. It looks like Brad and him have done a lot of good work, but uh, a little structure is a great idea. And um, we can do that, start that out in the lobby, or uh, is your email on one of the? Yes, my email's on the website. Roberts? Uh, Roberts is not, but uh, you can email me and I'll forward to him. Um, one of the things we could do is right outside this door on a table when you're leaving, if you're interested, put your name on a list and what city you live in, and uh, we'll get started. Robert that, email doesn't work. Pardon? Robert doesn't really have a working email. Who? Robert? Yes, he does. Oh, yes. Well, I've changed my computer and changed oh. everything out. <laughs> so it does now. Yeah. Okay, why don't we move along and that I think that would be fine. And for this gentleman's suggestion about uh, skill sets and so forth, Brad 
I'm guessing that you might have mm -hmm. some ideas to put together something secure that people could send that in. And um, can, can you take that maybe as an action item and, and report on it next meeting and then have something secure that, that people can send in that, uh, your skill sets? As an idea, I could set an email dedicated to specifically that. That'd be great. Yeah. You know, a safety safety association at republicfarizona.org or something like that. Uh -huh. um, and then you just send in your info if you're interested. Um, one of the things that we didn't mention, I forgot to mention, just to add, sorry, Jim, um, is that uh, you have to be a member of the Republic to be participating in this. Um, so that's one thing that we think would be important, um, that you have to be part of the Republic. Um, but yeah, we'll start uh, organizing this. Obviously, it's kind of open right now, but we were trying to think of locking down something as assembly, a system, but we have now thrown it out to you guys, and we'll be discussing this in the next assembly, and hopefully get something organized. I don't think we too are. Um, and then, just one more thing, to clarify on the land. Um, Robert mentioned it earlier. There's land out available in Arizona, 200 bucks an acre. Um, uh, yeah, I forgot. Mr. Westfall, was, was it you that yeah. mentioned it last meeting? I mean, you can get an acre or a couple of acres for a couple hundred bucks in Arizona. Yeah. If we put our money together, we can buy like 30 acres. It's on the side of the Grand Canyon, it's vertical. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually did a lot of research. There's a lot of available land at that price. So, uh, there's something to consider there um, as a co op. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Give him a round. <laughs> Next on the agenda is new business, and Hal wants to talk about. No? The ambassador? What? New ambassador? Oh, let's, let's skip it. Well, you know what? We, you want me to just Monty, have a quick Monty, Monty? Yeah, get, get a quick overview. Monty, Monty's got to step down. He's state rep. He's overwhelmed. He's got too much going on. He's he wants to get a resignation, but he needs to have the right person step forward that's uh, willing to run with the ambassador position for Arizona. So. Okay. So for the, for the new folks, we've had an ambassador position in the in the nation, but as also as a state who's, uh, and Monty did a really, really good job of just recruiting anybody that's new. He gets on the phone, he talks with them, tells them what it's all about, helps them get signed up um, with uh, your, your uh, declaration of sovereign rights and all that sort of thing. So he does have to step down. He's, he's got, he is a legislator and he has lots of things. So if you have a heart for that, have an idea that's, that's something you might want to take on, I can tell you it takes a lot of time to be willing to talk to people late at night on the phone and so forth. Send an email to the governor. Um, announcements, I guess let's move right on. Or do we want to take a break, Jim, before you talk about you're on the agenda. Yes, sir. I'd like to say something about the new business. I have an idea I'd like to suggest. Can I get it's easy? Okay. Well, my name's Thomas Costanzo, and um, I would like to, first of all, I'd like to see about maybe make a motion to move the meeting to the second and fourth Friday of the month because on first Friday down in Phoenix they have a every week every month they have a big hullabaloo there where they have people go out and do activism and you know you go out and meet some people and it's actually a lot of fun and it's the meeting is I haven't been able to really attend the the first Friday for a while because of the meeting here so I'd like to a like to see if we could maybe for next month switch it to second and fourth Friday so that you know to have the first Friday would be available and then the other thing that's really kind of concerning me we would seem like we were growing uh, substantially and then it kind of kind of took a step back and it's not as full as what it used to be so what I'd like to suggest is we either have some kind of recognition for people that bring you know if we you know you bring somebody we recognize maybe have an official head count hey you know I mean I know it's they list how many people came, but you know, hey, last week we had, I don't know, 50 people, and the, this week we got whatever, just more of a being able to count how many people we have, because the only thing that really 
matters is if we're not if we're not growing, we're shrinking, and eventually it's going to implode on itself because it's just going to get too top heavy. So we have to move in a direction where every one of us is is bringing people into the republic. And I just know from in sales, if you want to, you got to inspect what you expect, and we're not expecting anybody to bring anybody. So I'd like to, you know, talk about you know first I'd like to make a motion to. Uh, move the meeting from the second to fourth Friday, and then just as some, I don't know how we would do it, but just doesn't really, a motion to uh, make a formalized, hey, we had so many people come last week, and then recognizing people that brought other individuals to the meeting. Okay, the first motion is to move the meeting to the second and the fourth. Would anybody want to second that before we have discussion? I have a point of order, if, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Carla, but Cannot make motions in new business? Correct. Oh. Oh, in old business. Okay. Well, that, that's a good point. So we want to bring that up for discussion at the next meeting. I guess the thing that I, to let people know, is um, you want to put this off so that you can go attend something else. The people need to know more about what that is and why would we want to do that because one person wants to do it and does it benefit the assembly to go, is it a de facto function or what? That's the question. Well, it's not really a de facto function, but it's a great place to meet people and then bring them here. Okay. Because it's, uh, you know, they get a lot, there's a lot of people just milling about and, you know, it might even be fun to set up a booth and just talk to people. Recruit. Tim. Uh, just clarification, we really, is that really true that we can't do make motions in new business? You can only bring up something new to be technically thought stuff about should be week. on the agenda there should be a deadline like everything that we want on the agenda should be given to Hal or whoever does the agenda by like 7 p.m. the night before okay okay but, but but like you made a motion that was not on the agenda so where's the difference <laughs> if, if it, we call it new business and we can't do motions how can it be business to me it's an oxymoron I, I, well, and I'm not understanding it, so I'm wondering what rule did we establish a rule about that, or I don't recall that. Yeah, because what happens, happen. at least my understanding of what happens if it, if you take new business and then you're making motions on it, you're getting nowhere. You have to have if it's if it's something that came up like the the card, the uh, ID cards. That's right. old business that comes onto the floor and then gets we can deal with it with some fullness. But the idea has been introduced to give people an opportunity yeah. to to. So look into it some more, then it becomes the focus of the following meeting. Yeah, I, I, I can okay. see that, just okay. like on this, so, uh, is, uh, I could, there's no way I could make a, a, an agreement today or even cast a vote for moving the meeting. We've done it for a year, and I don't know why I'd want to look okay. into it. And I, I agree with that. I just, it didn't make sense to call it new business if there's no business. Maybe I'd be idea time or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Semantics. Well, we just maybe should fun. look into the what's a normal <laughs> protocol. Does that make sense? Hey, you, can, you can make motions. Things come up, and motions do need to be made. But just so you guys know, this part of the meeting right here should be the bulk of the meeting. We are just now getting to it, and we've been here for two and a half hours. Yeah. This is the business. This is why we come here. This should yeah. be the bulk of the meeting, not not this much. Well, I took about forty-five minutes. And it was under your business. Yeah. It's, a product, it's a protocol. Art. If you think, if you sub substitute the word uh, proposed business for new business. For consideration. New proposals. Business. New proposals. Proposed business. Business. Yeah. business. Yeah. That makes sense. Business. Once it's been proposed, that time to be kicked around. And that's, a, and that's something. That, then it becomes old business. Something to be brought up in the protocol. That makes sense to me. Okay. Card. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have the floor. Just real quick, for those that don't know Tom, the guys at Diehard, believe me, he built an Investigate 911 site on the I-40 in the freaking snow blizzard. Well, he helped. The you. guy Please. is incredible. So he's got my vote, whether everybody votes on it or not next what time. What are you talking about? Talk about Thomas. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> you can find it all over freaking YouTube. <laughs> Why? Because he does a lot. So he's got my vote. For those that don't know him, the guy is a go-getter. 
Yes. So I'm just saying that Huge. you want to see somebody right. building an investigative right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> reasonably should do, friendly amendment to your motion, is there is no more. Okay, but no more about what you're talking about. I, I don't know, I have no idea if I want to, uh, and I don't want to use the word waste, take my time to go some, you know, make a decision on behalf of this for something I have no idea about. I'd like to know what it is, visit with you, if I could go see it, what is it before we disrupt something that's been working well for year and a half so okay that's that's reasonable right Thomas yeah okay and your second item well I'd like to uh, oh, recognition yeah okay. recognition yeah. And, and an accounting of how many people actually showed up because we yeah. have to grow this thing if we're not growing it it will it will implode on itself yeah I, I, I agree with that to an extent because I, I also believe that which is not measured never improves mm -hmm. we did that and you do that in business and so forth to measure Anything. A anything. However, that being said, I mean, there isn't uh, 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 a week goes by that Hal and I have coffee almost every day, and when we get an opportunity, we're visiting with something, somebody about this. And it's a very, very difficult thing. You know, if you talk to your family, they look at you like you got five heads. And then to be, you know, feeling guilty, you know, you know I, I think you got to be careful that somebody might feel like, well, I don't want to go. I don't want to be calling the carpet because I didn't bring somebody in tow. I would suggest do the best that you can. I mean, I, I try and say that on the Wednesday night calls. Just tell one other person to tune in, and it's so difficult to grow. What we really need for the growth is something huge to happen on our behalf. Then, you, you know, because we've, we've been the troopers. We've been hanging in there. We've been having the, the faith. We know why we're here. We know that what we do makes sense. We, most of us, Carla, Hal, everybody have been in a courtroom and had these little wins that make you realize that the, 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 the corporation is so corrupt, that's why we come and we're, we're, we're hanging in there without a whole lot of uh, big news on our behalf. If we got some big news, imagine you could start telling everybody, hey, the, we got the government's funding and, and, and we got to go find a, a state house. We got to go rent a 30,000 square foot building. And you start telling people that. You know, we need a big win. I agree with you, but, you know, I don't, I don't want to call. Who did you bring? Why, why haven't you brought somebody? You know, I don't know. Well, well, I just feel odd about it. Today. I'm, I'm not saying it's a, a put down, it's a recognition for people who bring people. That's, okay. that's, that's I, what I'm suggesting. Yeah, I applaud the new guys that come, you know, I mean... Jim, we, we need to put this on the agenda for next week. Okay, we'll we do that. Discuss it then. We're like, where? We're, we're, okay. We got an educational presentation, we're like lagging really, really far. Well, one quick thing, I'm sorry, Jim, I was looking. You're on the agenda for a, an eviction update. I know you talked a little. Would you like to expound on that? Yeah, very, uh, very briefly, what happened was uh, the uh, Fannie Mae got a...